greetings guys so good havoc here back with another video so um, it's been a while since I haven't uploaded a video on YouTube since the last one so today I'm gonna be covering about a tool called Stormbreaker um, through which you're able to access the webcam of the target device and also the location as well as you can obtain the information about the target device so that's what you can get um, through the Stormbreaker tool so to install it we're just going to get to our browser and then over here we're going to type storm breaker and then get up so we're going to hit enter now so once you search for this one storm breaker as you can see the first result so we're just going to click on that now you should load this up the page to Stormbreaker on GitHub. So here, as you can see, this is a social engineering tool where you can access the webcam and microphone in the location, which is made out of Python, JavaScript, and then PHP, I guess. So when you scroll down, it gives us the you know instruction how to install it on Cal Linux. So we got this. So we're going to get clone it first. So that's what we're going to do. And um, I think I've already used the Stormbreaker tool, so it um, seems that I don't have it right now. So we're just going to install it from scratch. So I'm going to get to desktop and then I'm going to clear. And then over here, I'm just going to type git clone. And then what you have to do is basically after typing git clone, you're gonna have to click on this icon and then paste it so you're basically just copying the link and then you're pasting it after the get clone command so I'm gonna hit enter now so it's cloning the repository in other words downloading which is the directory of Stormbreaker so we're gonna wait until it finishes so once that is done when I type ls as you can see I got Stormbreaker inside my desktop folder so same thing over here in the display as you can see so I'm just gonna minimize that so over here we're gonna get to navigate to Stormbreaker so here as you can see we've got a bunch of files like the requirements.txt install sh which is a bash file I believe so all of this is going to be required in order to run the st.py file which is the Stormbreaker file itself so what we're going to need to do is um here as you can see we got instructions so you can run this install the sh first according to it or if it works for you you can just straight up just you know install the requirements of the pip through python 3 and then you know execute the file which is st.py now i'm just going to go straight up into uh with the requirements.txt so first of all it's better you create a virtual environment file which is python 3-m pnv and then you can name your you know virtual environment file anything like for me I'm just going to type my vnv as I've done before so I'm just going to hit enter it should now create us a folder called my vnv you could have named it anything you want alright so all you need to do now is source and my vn okay so yeah source my vnv and then slash bin slash activate so now we're inside the virtual environments all we just need to do now is type python3 dash m pip install dash r and then requirements dot txt along with this line so for the newer versions of python you might need this flag which is dash dash break dash system dash packages so you know, think you're going to need for the newer versions of python especially python version 12 so i'm just going to enter now it's going to install the requirements needed to run st.py so we're going to wait until it happens so it's installing as you can see a bunch of you know requirements so successfully install all the three I, I don't think it's three uh, yeah 
So it's, it's successfully installed a bunch of you know those requirements that were needed. All we just need to do now is type Python tree and then st.py so to you know run the Stormbreaker tool and we're going to hit enter now. As you can see it's running on port 2525. So yeah that's 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 there and it's also recommending us to use ngrock to port forward this you know web panel. So I'm not going to use that uh, the ngrock. I'm going to use the other one which is going to be localhost.run. So I'm just going to minimize this and over here I'm going to type sh dash keygen and then I'm going to hit enter and you can save the you know uh, key file anywhere you want. Just hit enter for the default location. I'm just going to override that from the previous one. So for the new passphrase, you can give anything you want. I'm giving it hello one two three four and hello one two three four. So that's pretty much it. And all you just need to do now is sh dash capital R and port eighty followed by this uh, colon or yeah it's colon and then localhost with 2525 and then you're going to run it with localhost dot run so as you can see here in this command so we're going to be running our localhost dot run on port 80 followed by the port number of the uh, this uh, stormbreaker tool so it's running on 2525 as you can see it here it's running on 2525 same thing here 2525 and then we're typing localhost.run so I'm just going to minimize this as you can see all we just need to do now is type enter and then type in the passphrase that will ask us to you know uh, submit so here as you can see passphrase was hello1234 the one that we had created just now and it has initiated the QR code as well along with the link so this is the link so this is a link to the web panel and when we just paste and go as you can see it will take us to the link uh, to the web panel so it's taking us there so basically as you can see it just shows us in the github page that the default username and password is admin so you can change that if you want from the files I guess but for now we're just going to go on with the default username being admin and password also being admin we're going to log in we're going to wait until it finishes logging in and it will take us to the main page of Stormbreaker so there you go and I'm um, if if you need uh, if you need to capture the camera of the targets basically the front camera I guess so we're just going to click on copy or you can manually just you know copy it like this and try it out on the target device so I'm just going to use my virtual emulator for this one simply so so over here I got the virtual emulator and we're going to get to Chrome Okay, so over here you should you should get the results whenever I get to this link. So okay, so I'm just gonna paste it and I'm going to enter. So it should now take us to this page called Face App. So no, well, it didn't ask me for the permission, I guess, because the connection was not secure. Let me just, you know, reinitiate the localhost.run one more time and then try it. So, as you can see, we got the, you know, information of the device, even though we did not capture the front camera. But we're going to do that now, so just a sec. Alright, so now that I've relaunched the localhost with a new link and I've logged in into our panel so I'm going to copy this link and try it one more time so this time maybe this should work so I'm just going to paste the link and when I get into uh, it so the URL so it should take us to the page 
call the face app and then ask us for the permission so we'll be prompted with a request so let's see what we get so as you can see so allow this time or allow while visiting the site so when we do that it should actually start capturing the camera so basically this is our camera just to show you here as you can see here the same thing we can see over here all right so this is the camera so same thing will be captured from here so as, as you can see it's already starting to capture so when we click on open file it should take us there so this are the files so where it's stored uh, so i'm going to show you the location where it's stored so i'm just gonna minimize all of that and then when i get to let's popping ls so we're gonna get to our desktop where our storm breaker is located storm breaker and here inside the storm dash web directory as you can see we've got images directory and when you just copy and paste it and enter here you can see the bunch of png files so you can also check it out from here so when you get to our desktop storm breaker storm web and then the images as you can see a bunch of files that's being captured from the front camera so basically my camera was a virtual one so this is just you know capturing the screen it's just taking a screenshot of this display itself so that's basically pretty much it can just and once that is done um, as you can you see you can just you know close this browser just to stop that or you can either click on this to stop the listener on this red button where it says listener running slash press to stop so you can do that as well so now that being said it's taking a bunch of you know falls that eh? now you can also try out the near you as well all right so for the location so let's try it out and we're going to paste it here not that one so basically I didn't copy with that copy button so we're just going to copy it like this and we're going to paste it hit enter so it should take us to the page called near you where you can extract the location of the target once he clicks on the continue button and when he allows it so it says coming soon and then when you see for the location as you can see you can even get the IP you can get a lot of stuff here is the Google map link when I get to it when I copy it and then I paste and go As you can see, so this is where it's showing as to be the location. So this is how you can even try it with the Google Maps. So that's one thing, and yeah, well, we got pretty much everything about it. And for this, you know, normal data link. As you can see over here, this will this should gain us the you know obtain us the information of the target device. So basically, this is the phone. But since that we have already got here, which is the Android for the OS and for the version, it's version 10. So as you can see, basically we got all of that. Now that we have tested you know everything we got over here from the links and for the weather and all that, it should be for the data itself. So so yeah, camera, microphone. For the microphone, it's the same thing, and near you. We've done all of that. So, in order to close your storm breaker, you can just type control plus C. And for the local host I uh, run, that is, you know, port forwarding it, you can do the same with control plus C to close the connection. So, that's pretty much it for this video, and I hope you found this video helpful. If you've got any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments.
and also please make sure to like share and subscribe and also hit the notification bell just to get updated with more contents like this so with that being said uh, i hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching